My name is Neil, and today I'm going to be showing you how to convert a PyTorch model to a TensorFlow model to a Coral TPU model. First, let me show you what a Coral TPU model is. This is a Coral TPU, and it's basically a smaller GPU that is made to run AI on edge devices. An edge device is a device like the Raspberry Pi or Arduino, which is pretty small and doesn't have that much power. In these situations, you cannot power a full-size GPU, so you'll have to use a small one like this. This one can actually fit in the palm of your hand and is pretty tiny. This makes it useful in a lot of mobile cases and whatever small robots you want to use. So, now, why, are we, why should I show you TensorFlow? First of all, TensorFlow is a pretty widely used AI library, and you also need TensorFlow to run on the Coral TPU. So let's look over the code. This is just me importing all the libraries and opening up, uh, making some functions. And here is the real model. We have everything in a function so that whenever we actually want the model, we can just call the function, as is done in the cell after. First, we create the model and give it a name. Then, we start adding the layers. The second line here is a Kong2D layer, then an average pool, then another Kong2D, then we flatten it, and then we just create the output layer, which has 10 nodes corresponding to the output. Here is the original model in PyTorch, and each of these correspond with the lines over here. So we have com 2 d average pool com 2 d same thing here, and this linear corresponds with these two layers, and then we just have the output layer. All right, so now we're just running it, and as you can see, we get pretty great accuracy. All right, now let's get to t TensorFlow Lite. This is a thing that we will use to run on the Coral TPU. Basically, what we have to do is we plug our TensorFlow model into it a TensorFlow Lite converter. This will convert the TensorFlow model into a TF Lite file. After this, we can load the file on the TPU, and then we can run it. Since the TPU is obviously less powerful than the GPU, it can't do everything that it can do, but it can still do mostly everything. The two main things that you can do with the TPU is prediction and transfer learning. A prediction just takes an existing model and take, takes in the input and gives a prediction. For same which is happening here. It's taking in this handwritten 9 and it's producing a prediction, which in this case is right. Transfer learning is when you have some sort of problem and you don't want to create or you can't create the solution yourself. So you use a good existing model and train it on your own data. So then you can use it for your purposes. But you do have to make sure that the model you're using solves a similar thing than what you're trying to solve. So. I hope that this helps you with some interesting projects. And again, if you both of these GitHub links and the link to buy the Coral TPU will be down in the description. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you later.